A decrepit bridge is getting a breath of new life. The community is collecting the funds to make it happen. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with the muralist who's been working hard on this for a month. Nolensville Pike is not exactly a peaceful art studio. I've never been stung before, but I still get nervous. There's hazards, wafts, and traffic. But because it's Nolensville Pike, it's a little bit dangerous. So I usually have to make sure I have an officer here and a couple people here with me. Kara Aversa was hired by the Glencliff Neighborhood Group to beautify this CSX bridge. The original mural here was defaced. I think that the artwork that was there was beautiful from before, but you know, so many years pass and then it starts to get dirty and then one person tags and then it adds other tags. And so anti-graffiti paint is important in this project, which that is what we're doing over it. When lanes are closed, she gets a lot of attention. They'll drop by and be like, oh, it looks great. Or they yell at some something at me in Spanish, but I know some words where it means looks good. She's hard to miss on her lift. When you're doing these, these jobs, I mean, not many people like know how bad it hurts your back. Like, I'm out, I'm the lift, you, ha you can't lock your legs. You gotta like move with it, but you're tense all day. I'm also afraid of heights and I work on murals all the time. Her inspiration, the animals next door. The animals that you see here are from the zoo. And I've tied it into the community because as you know, like this area is known for different culture, different food and all that. The clouded leopard is from the Himalayas and uh, the rainforest. And so that's gonna introduce Thai and Asian culture. In days, she'll put the final touches on her artwork. If we can make Nashville a little bit more beautiful with public art, I mean, why not? Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. That's great. And while is. Tara did give them a, a deal, the cost of supplies is expensive. So if you'd like to help, posted a link. We've posted a link to a GoFundMe to help.